Okay, guys, I'm going to see, see if anyone comes in here. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for people who to show up for those who are watching this at a later time. Um, just letting you guys know, I am starting my journey into Linux from scratch. I'm only going to do like maybe a half hour, 40 minutes of this. Because I think this will be sort of boring because it's just going to be code. Woohoo! So, um, hopefully people will come in. I believe Das Gregor is planning on coming and seeing. I consider him pretty uh, knowledgeable in Linux from scratch. So, all right. So, okay, I'm going to get started here. I do have virtual box here if I can really all right that was weird so on my right hand side so I'm just showing you guys here so on my right hand monitor I'm going to have my Linux from scratch version 8.1 I am doing this in a virtual machine so I can do a video later uh, showing you guys how far I've come um, and also I can hopefully chat with you guys on here so uh, if you guys have any comments or thinking I'm doing something wrong please let me know um, since there's no ISO for it I'm going to do arch ISO so really Well, this is going to be bad if I can't get this. Okay, so Arch Linux. Give it 8 gigs. Create. Next. Next. Oh, why not? I'll give it 30 gig. Give it 30 gigs. Create. Settings. System. Processors, I'm going to give it three. Uh, I know it's going to be slow. I only have four cores on this system. Uh, let me know if you guys... Uh, let me know if you guys are hearing me. If it's bad stream, just let me know. Uh, to probably... If you guys could go ahead and get into the Linux distro community, IRC, if you do have an IRC, uh, that'd be nice. It'd be right here. Um, uh, if le yeah, let me know if the stream goes bad, then I can do my own stuff here. So again, I'm doing three cores, eight gigs of memory, 30 gig hard drive. And I'm going to do this with the Linux or the Arch ISO. Hopefully that will work. I know Das Gregor did it with a Gen 2. Um, hopefully this will be a little bit better. Downloads Arch. Okay. Okay. Start this up. I will try to put this in scale mode. 
Yes, yes. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hey, awesome. Dust Gregor is now... <laughs> I, I know. I, I should probably download the, art, the Gen 2 ISO, but, you know, whatever. If this works, this works. So, hopefully... Uh, okay, ping, google.com. Hopefully this will work. Everything should work. If not, I will go and download the Gen 2 ISO and do it that way. Alright, why are you being stupid? C3. You know what? Out of kicks. I hope this works. And I don't expect a lot of people to uh, to see this, so Oh, don't tell me. Come on. the pop out chat now. Oh, there it is. Okay, well I'm having issues already. Lovely. Alright, clear. Alright, I'm just gonna power this down. Let's make sure my settings are correct. NAT uh, Let's try bridged Alright, let's try this again All right, well, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Um, I'll try to get a hold of you, but I'm going to be reading a bunch of stuff. So let's hopefully ping works. All right, I don't think this is going to go well. Preparing host system requirements. <sighs> All right, well, again, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Um, Maybe I'm doing something wrong inside virtual machine. There we go. Okay. I don't care about that. That's ping C three Gen two dot org. All right. Just so you guys see what I'm reading, I will bring this over here. So to to do this, the host system, actually, let me go back. Change log resources. All right. LFS and standards. Uh, again, this is going to be really boring, so if you guys... <laughs> I understand if you guys go out. So it's just going to be me stumbling through, trying to start off with... 
Linux from scratch. Hopefully, um, Mr. Das Gregory, you could tell me where to begin on this because I am already lost. Here we go. All right. Just, just to make this also pretty simple. Uh, yes, I am going to do a pure. Again, this is just for fun. So, okay. So I'm just going to do one freaking... Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do one partition and that's it. So I think that would probably be best. That's how I usually do it. But let me know if you guys want me to just do a root and a home partition or a boot. Okay, so what it tells me to do uh, is go here, clear. Okay, so make cf disk dos free space new 30 gigs primary do i need boot uh, just for the hell of it i'll do boot right yes quit so okay so the first thing it's telling me to do is create a file system on the partitions. So I'm just going to do this part of it onto SDA1. So make fs dot oh, dash v dash t ext4 dev SDA1. Okay. Well, that's nice and simple so far. Okay, so the next page. <laughs> uh, and, and again, I understand for you guys uh, if you go in and out. <laughs> this is going to be boring. I, I'll just start off with that. <clears throat> uh, do let me know if stuff goes in and out, please. Come on. Okay, so now export LFS equals MNT LFS. Okay. Okay, now let's see if it's set. So we say echo dollar sign LFS. Hey, hey, there it is. Okay. So far, so good. Hopefully, my internet is fine. Now, mounting the new partition. So, make dir pv dollar sign LFS. Okay, mount dash v dash t ext4 dev sda1 to LFS. Now make dir dash v dollar sign LFS user. Now mount dash v dash t ext4 dev sda1 
LFS user. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so next next one on. So far it's not too bad. Uh, again, just like Das Gregor says, as long as you can follow instructions and type out everything, then it should be fine. Okay, so right now I am now on chapter three, so this is patching. Uh, I'm just gonna next. Uh, do apologize, my internet is being a little slow. So this is going to take some time. I'm only going to start this, guys, so it's going to be relatively short um, live stream. I don't think a lot of you guys want to see packages or uh, compiling uh, going through. Granted, uh, if you guys are, uh, you know, a Gen 2, you're used to the compiling stuff, so. Okay, so, the introduction to packages and patching. So, make dir v. So, I'm going to guess dash v is for verbose, so, which is nice. So, LFS, sources. Okay, chamad. B A plus W T L F S sources. Okay. W get input file equals W get list. Continue directory prefix equals dollar sign LFS sources. Input dash file Okay. Well running into it. Okay. How you doing, Jonas? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dust. Okay, so I am. Uh, let me know if I need to put this in down to here, or maybe it's here. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, my internet's being a little slow tonight, so how's everyone else doing? I already have my mounts messed up. <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, oh, great. So, should I just start again, Dust? Okay, well, Das Gregor says to restart, so 
reboot. Start this again. Oh, well, okay, well. I'll try that way. I'll, I'll just redo it, I guess. Didn't take long to get this far. Alright, I will look. Um, i go to previous. 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 Come on. Okay, see it. CF disk. Delete. New. Dirty primary. Right. Yes. Quits. All right. So make FS dash V dash T. Ext4 dev dev sda one okay so that's done next well I'm starting again might as well all right so export LFS equals MNT LFS. Echo LFS. All right, so everything's good so far. Okay, I see where I messed up now. All right, so if I had multiple uh, partitions, then I would need to do the USR and everything else like that. But since I'm just doing one partition, I just need to do this top part. So let me know if I am correct in that assessment. So, so make dir pv. LFS. All right. So now mount V T EXT four four dev SDA one to L LFS. All right. So done with that. Next. All right. Introduction. So are you telling or are you saying DOS is to wget just this and then do this? Let me know for that. Oh, sorry. There is still a bit of a delay so uh, between comments in the stream, so So he's uh, he's saying to download this, so I can do this. Uh, guess an easy way to download all the packages and patches is by using wget list as an input to wget. Oh, I still need to do the sources. All right, uh, <clears throat> make dir v. LFS 
sources. Chmod dash v a plus wt lfs sources. All right. Yeah, that's why I was curious. Okay, so um, so I do. So W get. So no. All right. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Scratch tower G. A fast view. Uh. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. W, uh, view, no, see. View. Stable. W, get. List. Oh, of course. All right, one second. All right, so, all right. Just check in here. Sorry, guys. I'm just having a little bit issues getting the W get list uh, from here. Okay. So let's try this again. Maybe it's not HTTPS. I think this is going to be a little interesting trying to, of course, with my internet connection the way it is, this is not going to go well. Am I missing? Am I missing a thing at the end of this? Alright, well this might end sooner than I thought. Uh, if you can hear this, Das, uh, let me know. Um, yeah, you're fine, Kirby Wood. Uh, you guys can chat away while I try to figure this out. So... This might be a very short stream. W get W get list. All right. So what I'm trying to figure out is how to get this. Uh, what Das Gregor is telling me is to get it that way. Is that what I need? No. Hmm. 
I'll try it again, what it says in the thing. No, it's not going to work. So W, get. Do some more searching for the actual thing here. So, w get. When in doubt, Google. That's definitely a good mantra. I don't have the paste into the uh, virtual box. Maybe I can change that. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a better idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, Copy the link. <clears throat> Paste. Okay, so let's try this one more time. HTTP Linux from scratch.org LFS view stable w get list <sighs> again i don't know what's going on with my uh wi-fi here so again this might be a very short uh, thing here. But how's everyone else doing tonight while that waits? <laughs> Hopefully everyone's good. Hopefully you're not too bored with this, but I thought I would... Okay. Unable. Alright, let's try that again. Let's make sure I typed it in right. Get HTTP Linux from scratch or G LFS view stable W get list. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Finally. Oh, okay. So now. We get to put that one thing in there. So w get input file equals w get list continue directory prefix. Equals dollar sign LFS sources all right this might take a little bit due to my uh, limited thing here so see what you guys are saying yeah I just don't like how it's not secure that's unfortunate there's very few uh, websites now that are not secure but hey whatever it's a bunch of mirrors to help me through this process so I think I'm just gonna again start it like uh, getting some of the stuff because it's gonna take probably several hours especially with it being in a virtual machine and it being so late at night I do have to go to work in the morning early so 
again just wanted to document the beginnings of this and then I'll show you once I'm completely done with the base and then maybe I'll do another live stream with uh, you know with uh, Beyond Linux from scratch and then hopefully by that time there'll be the ALFS that Das Gregor will do a video on I'm sure Uh, hopefully everything's working fine. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know if you guys can hear me or not. Uh, again, sorry for the jitteriness of the webcam also. I noticed that with my other live stream that it was very, you know, there's a lot of frame drops, so. But yeah, so uh, I, th I lost a, uh, a couple subscribers because I was on Slackware for some reason. I lost like three or four of them. Apparently they don't like me being on Slackware, but again I was playing with Slackware to show off those two videos um, well at least that one video and then I was just tinkering with it the uh, yesterday and I put a completely different uh, distro on there now hopefully I, I'm actually I was talking with Das Gregor and a couple other people tonight about m maybe doing a Ubuntu challenge like try to do my regular stuff on Ubuntu and see why people hate it so much. I still think that it's probably like a lot of people th feel it's like, like canonicals like the Microsoft of the Linux world, but Das Gregor may think it's that Red Hat is the Microsoft of the Linux world, but we'll see. I'm curious if you guys think. Well, I believe, you know. With so much hatred towards something, I think a lot of people get caught up in the wave of it. They don't realize if it's bad or not because they've never even tried it. Because, you know, a lot of... Yeah, okay. I think a lot of people, you know, get, um, again, caught up and don't realize why everyone hates... Ubuntu, so they stay away because when people are switching, they say, "Oh, stay away from Ubuntu. It's it's horrible." Well, you're like brainwashing the new Linux person who absolutely has no idea why they should hate this uh, this distro. Just a lot of people hate it. So hopefully, I can put some positive, or maybe I'll start hating it even more, but more on a technical term. So we'll see. We'll find out how long this takes. <laughs> I do hope to get kind of far in this before going to bed. I think I might just do it for another half hour. Uh, do it at 9 my time, which is in, I, I again, live outside of Chicago, so I'm in central time. And, you know, I, I just wanted to do this to, for the learning curve. Uh, I've been getting pretty comfortable with Gentoo. To the point where I have broken my system multiple times, and and um, you know actually fixing it. So I wanted to try to do this to you know get to the meat of you know what Linux does. Like from what everyone has said who's done Linux from scratch, you have an immediate appreciation of the developers of you know, distros. You have immediate appreciation of package managers. So, again, so if you guys have questions again for me, uh, it could be kind of like a pseudo Q and A while this slowly downloads. And again, I'll try not to make it as boring, you know, spout out some of my views of the Linux world as we, you know, see a WGET going. 
Maybe I'll try to read ahead, see what's going on. I'm probably not going to do this one. I don't feel like downloading another one, so I'm just going to go to the next one. There we go. So here are all the packages. That's interesting. I do hope. Okay. It sounds like I need to do this by hand, which is awesome. So I'm probably going to end it halfway through this list. <laughs> That's if I can get to it. <clears throat> I've never really tried Fedora Atomic. I've tried Fedora Server, Fedora Cloud at one point just to see what it is, and Fedora. The only thing I don't like about Fedora is they are like super gung-ho on Wayland, and I don't think Wayland is ready, to be honest. Uh, I was helping them out with, like the, I think, what is it, Fedora 25 release? I was at the butt end of it and with the new which was on rawhide granted anytime um i booted up with it my screen would invert now i know it was not the os itself it must have been wayland because when i switched over to the xorg uh gnome it was completely fine, so it must have been something with the Wayland. I tried to report it, but it's it's really hard to it's really hard to report something like that. Like how do you try to I try to take screenshots and everything. So Yeah, Calculate Linux is really good. I tried Calculate Linux before going uh one I broke wait yeah once I broke my gen 2 the first time when I made that video I tried to go to calculate uh, it wasn't bad but uh, I wanted to go to a distro that was that I knew for the most part so Das can you let me know um, if you know off chance is the wget file that I'm downloading, uh, is this all the stuff in the all packages? Because if it is, then I could probably skip this page. I think I saw glib on there. Grub. Glib C. Yeah, okay. So it does look I'm getting all of these. So I might just skip this one. But is there a uh, an interesting um, Linux distro that I should try to look at through either VirtualBox or on my spare laptop? Uh, let me know, because I think I, in my last video someone wanted me to look at Crux Linux. I don't know if, how much time I have, because I am still studying for uh, my Security Plus, which I should be able to take it at the end of February or beginning of March. I still need to set the date. I am a big procrastinator, so... Which is interesting because, you know, I... <laughs> I'm on a distro that I have to, you know, do everything with it, so... Which is interesting, but... You know, I digress. Yeah, okay, I will, yeah, okay. Communicate.
So, yeah, I, I think uh, maybe tomorrow night or after this, I'm going to give DWM another go. I was talking to a subscriber who uh, apparently I've influenced uh, enough where uh, I think last time when I was on Arch Linux, I did an LVM slash Lux with Arch Linux on UEFI. And he's like, how did you do that? And he wanted to give it a shot. So, you know, I try not to, I just try to tell you guys what my current status is with my videos and my Linux. So, but let me know if I've influenced you guys uh, to try like i3 or Herbsluft or even WMII, which... It's usable, but, you know, it's really hard, so it's definitely different than the other WMs out there. And no matter what Dirk says, I did not, I did not influence, brainwash Das Gregor into uh, I3. It was his choice. I only gave him two weeks, and that was it. So it was his choice from then on to stay on I3, and he's told me that <laughs> he loves it. He can't go back to a desktop environment. Which, if Dirk, if you are watching, as you can see, I am actually on XFCE. So, look, black background with blinking lights. Even on XFCE, you still get that. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. My internet sucks. Uh, I think... My, uh, I don't know if I was in a two-year contract, but I'm going to get new internet probably by June or July. So I don't know what my uh, up and down is. I think it's pretty bad. I think it's like 7.3 or something like that, where with fiber, which I'm probably going to get, it will be 200 up and down. But we'll see how far away from the host it is, so... Yeah, I know my internet sucks, and I'm sure it's uh, preventing you guys from actually hearing me live. I don't know how far back uh, you guys are from what I'm saying, so. But yeah, I've just been playing with... Uh, over the three-day weekend, I've just been playing with Slackware, and I put Arch Linux back on that spare laptop, which I had a little bit of an issue because I took the XF or the XNIT RC file from one of my Gen 2 laptops or this desktop and moved it onto there. The only difference was that CK launch session uh, dealy, and that was it. Uh, show you what I mean here. Uh, did I get rid of it? Yes, I did. So the only difference between my Arch one and this is the CK Launch D-Bus. That was it. So I do not know why it failed. So but I got it to work, and I have i3 on there and everything. But I think I'm going to go try to go a little bit more minimalistic because I have, you know, the Font Awesome and the Conky running in my i3. Uh, oh, good. It's one of the latest uh, kernels, so hopefully this should be pretty good. So I'm just uh, I'm just going through looking at the live chat and going through to the next page right now. All right, so next page. See what I'm looking forward to. And hopefully once I'm not streaming and my wife's not streaming her shows, 
Hopefully this will go a lot faster. God, the internet sucks right now. Yeah. I even lost it. Okay, so, okay, yes. If my internet gets any worse, guys, I'm probably going to call it, because you saw the start. You saw the beginnings of it, so I may just uh, call it quits for streaming it anyway. And I'll make a video once I have the base set up. Hopefully I can get it done by the end of this week. I'm going to try to do like an hour here, hour there before bed. So, we'll see. Oh, great. Can't be reached. Yeah, I know. I know, Adrian. So, again, I, I'm probably just going to call it right now then. Just because my internet is very crappy right now. I do need to go to bed. I can't... Oh, good. Here we go. Finally got to the next section. Jesus. Alright, so, in addition... Uh, let me know, Das, if I can skip this section too, if the th uh, the wget list is in on this. Uh, again, let me know. I think if I did this on a actual machine, it would be a lot faster. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, it's going now. Uh, let me know in WeChat uh, once you get that message. I don't know how. how far back you guys are. Plus I got a lot of stuff open too. So let me get rid of this. At least it's working. Let me get rid of Firefox. Hopefully that will speed up a little bit. Okay, good. Patches are are in here. Hooray! I don't have to. I could skip the next two sections. Good. Next. 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 Yeah, it's speeding up a little bit. That's good. All right, final preparations coming up once this is done. Thank God. <sighs> Patch, there is one. Hopefully this will be done shortly. <sighs> yeah, there's a new uh, ISP in my area that has fiber optics. So I might get that very soon. And then I can do actually probably better streams than this. I'll probably download the Gentoo tree and all the Gentoo stuff in like an instant, so.
But if you guys are, you know, I know a lot of people are not into the I or the IRC kind of stuff. But if you are ever on, I'm in a bunch of channels. So I'm in the Tiling Window Manager. I'm in the Linux Distro Community. Let's Learn Linux. Uh, Arch Testing. Gentoo, Gentoo Chat. Uh, for the nerds, which it's double hashtags, um, and I'm, I'm in a bunch. So, uh, if you guys are just want in that chat, I think I've talked to some of my subscribers in the Linux distro community. They come around more often now, which is nice. So, I Kirby, I should try to do Discord. I think that would be interesting. I've heard so many, or. There's a uh, there's a project that takes the real engine uh, and a group of like five or six people are making the Enterprise from Star Trek: The Next Generation, so the Enterprise D, uh, and they have a Discord. So I might look into Discord, and I'll let you guys know uh, if when I'm on Discord, if I get on Discord. I'm not on Mastodon. I it, if it's similar to, from what I gathered, it's similar to Twitter, and I'm not very good at Twitter. I do have a, two Twitter accounts. I have my own personal one, and I have the LDC one, which I said I was going to try to tweet more, but I have no freaking idea what to tweet. So I, I guess when there's news about uh, an interesting Linux thing, I can maybe give my two cents in the limited fashion. Uh, I am on Google Plus more often than anything else. So if you guys are curious to find me, uh, I'm in the uh, one of the owners of the Tiling Window Managers community. Uh, so you can find me. I'm not. Uh, You'll know who I am. I'm the one on the unicycle. I do love to unicycle. I th I think everyone should know how to unicycle. Yeah, I think I've seen you on... Uh, I know you're part... Ben, I know you're part of the Linux distro community community. On Google+, Plus, but that's mostly... I, I try to moderate it, but there's a lot of spam. Uh, I think I might talk to deleting it and just starting it anew. I think that would be best or start something else on there. I don't think there's a lot of people who you know do the Linux distro communities uh, Google Plus communities so hopefully this is almost done. It's in the X's so this should be almost done. I'll try to look into Discord for you guys. If that's where a lot of people are, that's where I'll go. So, But honestly, my social sites are the IRC. That's where I'm on all the, all the time. I go in. I get on right after I put my son to bed. Um, and I usually just stay on there for a little bit. So... <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to try to also play more games and maybe stream those. I don't know. I, it, only if my internet is a lot better. Oh. <laughs> so I was talking to uh, Das Gregor, and he's saying I may have to compile GCC three or four times. Ah, that's just lovely. That's going to be freaking awesome. Okay, so finally done with that. So... We're going to go to the final preparations. Still am in part two, preparing to build. I haven't even started building really anything yet. All right, so introduction. LSS takes a build or SPUs. I'm going to guess this is going to take me a, like a good week or week and a half. So, okay. So, we are moving on finally. So, make dir 
dash. Gosh. V. LFS tools. LN SV LFS tools to there, which is root. Okay. Done. I think once I'm done doing the final preparations, I'm going to call it quits for the night. So just preparing you guys. Okay, so uh, this is the page I'm on. You'll just see uh, some stuff here. So group add LFS user at add s bin bash g lfs m k dev null lfs p a s s w d lfs hooray password is updated passwords password i'm going to make it simple on myself Joan V LFS LFS tools Joan V LFS LFS sources So now I get to SU Ch switch user LFS Awesome. Nice and simple so far. <laughs> yeah, you have an i7 or an i5. This is an i5 DOS, but I feel this is going to take me a lot, at least triple the time it took you, so just to get the base. So. All right, this is setting up the environment. Hopefully, this will be one of the last ones. So, cat. Uh, less sign. Bash. Profile. Less, less. E. O. F. I can't tell if that's an... Okay, can someone tell me if that is a capital O or is that a zero? I am curious. No, okay, that's an O. All right, I have it right, so, all right. E, X, E, C, E, N, V, I, home, equals home, term, equals term ps1 equals forward slash u colon forward slash w forward slash dollar sign bin bin bash eof okay when logged in uh on his user LFS, the initial shell is usually a login shell, which reads the Etsy profile of the host. So we're setting up the prompt. Awesome. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not regretting myself on this. Hopefully not. Okay, so cats here. Dot bash rc. Here. EOF set plus H U mask zero zero twenty two LFS equals MNT LFS LC all 
06 LFS TGT equals dollar sign you name dash M LFS oh, LFS Linux G GNU path equals tools bin bin user bin export lfs lc underscore all lfs tgt path EOF. All right, seeing what you guys are saying here. Das, seriously, I, you need sleep. <laughs> You're not going to function tomorrow at work. All right, just checking, seeing what you guys are saying, and then I'll move on. Okay, so set h command turns off bash's hash function. Hashing is ordinary, a useful feature. Bash uses a hash table to remember the full path of executable files to avoid searching the path time and again. LFS variable should be set to chosen mount point. The setting the user file creation mask umask to 022 ensures that newly created files and directories are only writable by their owner but are readable and executable by anyone. The LC all variable controls the localization of certain programs making their messages follow their conventions of a specified country. Setting LCL to POSIX or C to our equivalent ensures that everything will work as expected. The LFS TGT variable sets the non-default, but compatible machine description for use when building our cross-compiler linker. Okay, next. That was interesting. <sighs> like this, this kind of stuff is like already built in, and I kind of like this. Makes you feel a little bit of a, you know, a dev of your own, and also sort of a programmer. So, okay, about SBUs, hooray! Approximate how long it'll take to compile and install each package because Linux from scratch can be built on many different systems. It's impossible for an accurate time estimate. Yeah. Okay, so export make flags equals J. Well, I said three cores, right? So J4. So that's very similar to Gen 2, which I kind of like. So hopefully this will make it a lot simpler here, or just building with. Okay, so any modern systems? Like, okay. Um, Das, let me know if I need to do this one. If I'm reading this correctly, I just exported that. And tell me if I need to do a make. I th think so. So a book will vary even more. Ah. <sighs> 
All right, let's see how many people are actually watching. <laughs> oh, 13. That's my peak. All right. Nine people. Awesome. Uh, again, I don't care how many people are watching. Hopefully you guys get enough out of this. Oh, okay, cool. Alrighty, more about SBUs. So hopefully with the my make flags set correctly to a J4, this should go. So in Gen 2, it's very similar. So you take as many cores slash threads and you add one to it. So I believe so. So for example, let me know if I have that correct before I move on, DOS or anyone. Let me know if I uh, am, am I in my Gen 2 ways or am I correct on that? Okay, so I am correct. All right, cool. All right. I'm reading the IRC. <laughs> okay, so next. Test suites. Okay, it's just a lot of reading, so forgive me. I'm just going to put this here so you guys can possibly read along. Switch for this test suite, running a safe switch suite, early build pack is a good idea because it provides a sanity check indicating, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, some test suites are important for the others, example of the test suite. GCC, pin utils, clip C are the most important due to their central role in a properly function. Okay, common issue running to sweets. Okay. Alright. I think I'll read this later. So. Alright, so next. If you guys didn't read that all, you know where to find this. All right. Okay, so I'm on chapter five, I'm assuming. All right, so I'm going to call this a wrap. I, hey, like, like I said, a half hour. So I just wanted to show you guys the starting process of the uh, Linux from scratch. Again, I don't know how long this will take. I will try to do other videos between the two. Uh, videos of this um, so well I think this is gonna take a while obviously with my internet and my processor so hopefully um, you guys got something out of it and uh, hopefully I can chat with a lot of you guys on uh, IRC and I will look into discord if I do get a good Discord uh, channel or whatever it is, I will make a video and let you guys know about it so you guys can chat with me and everything. So, But you guys have a good night.